Look at that. That's amazing. We've got the makings of a panel filter. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Alex. And for those of you who don't know, I'm Alex's taller, more handsome colleague, Matt. Now we're kicking off a brand new series where we're going to be looking at how various car components are manufactured. And to start, we're here with the guys at Piper Cross to see how a performance air filter is made. Shall we get cracking? We shall. Let's do it. We're going to get started with panel filters, which is why you join me on the commercial shop floor, where materials are cut, welded, oiled and pressed. Step one is for me to grab some Triumph foam, take it to a lovely man called Daniel, and let's get cutting. Tell me about this foam, why is it special? It's all to do with the PPIs that are in the foams that will, one, give better airflow for the filters, and two, once it's oiled, to spread the dirt throughout it so it doesn't block it. And here at Piper Cross, how much do you think you get through of this stuff a week? 60, 70 shoes, maybe more. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get cutting. Yeah. Thank you very much. Now step two is for me to get this oiled. Pop that there. And then push it through a massive rolling machine that oils the foam evenly. And is this pretty much good to go? We have to leave it 48 hours to let the foam stretch before we can go and do the next part of the preparation. Right, so you join me upstairs now in panels. This foam has had 48 hours to settle and now the next step of the process is up here. Where mesh is cut to size and where filters really take shape. Just go as close as possible, bring it round. So that's the mesh done. Yep. With the filter mesh cut to size, it's time to repeat the same process on the oiled foam. And now we've got to go over to the logo ah, inside. Perfect. Yeah. So it's interesting that pretty much the whole process is done by hand, isn't it? It is, The yeah. spraying, you're actually yeah. doing that. This, it's not machine. No. So I bet you could probably spray a car quite well. Uh, probably now. Anyway, enough chat. Let's crack on. Look at that. Jobs are good. Watch and learn. Right, so Leanne, we've sprayed up the foam and yeah. now we're at a massive revolving table. What's yes. the next plan? Basically, the pew goes in, mm -hmm. the mesh then sits on top, then this plate goes on top, followed by the foam, and then that goes on top. Right. The next step of the build is to inject the mould with liquid polyurethane that will form the structure of the air filter. Look at that! For accuracy and speed, a specialised machine handles this step of the process. And now a quick word from this week's sponsor, Nextbase, that specialises in dash cams with a lot of awesome features. Many dash cams feature 720p or 1080p resolution, but this Nextbase 522GW comes with a whopping 1440p Quad HD camera with a polarising filter. You can remotely watch back your journeys on your phone via the My Nextbase Connect app with Bluetooth 4.2 and Wi-Fi, and it comes with Alexa built in. It also has emergency SOS response, so in the event of an incident where the driver is unresponsive, this can alert the emergency services of your location and other details, potentially saving a life. It also features intelligent parking mode in case somebody hits your parked car and drives off. You can find out more about this dash cam and other next base dash cams in the link in the description. And now you basically have to apply it into the corners plate in place. We do it as quickly as possible. And then you have to wait 20 minutes for it to set. Yes. So while that happens, let's go join Matt with some cone filters. So back on the commercial shop floor, the process for cone filters is very similar to the panel filters. Which means cutting the mesh and foam to size for use as a cone filter. And there we have it. All of the bits we need. So now on to rollering and welding. This is what's going to give us the, the shape we need yep. for the cone. Yeah. So you slightly put it in, give it a little bend. Up. You turn it as you're rolling it, and that's that. So you've got your basic shape. And then you take it to the pot welder. You put a spot that end, and a spot that, that end. After which the spot weld process is continued down the spine of the cone. I'd say, can you tell what it is yet? But I don't think we can say that anymore, can we? 
So for the next step, we need to spray a lovely pipe cross leg on here. I'm here with some guy called Alex. Alex, how long have you been working here? Uh, 45 years. I find that extremely believable. Show me how it's done. This is where all the performance comes in. You take the foam, plates, 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 goes on like so, cardboard. So it can't do the actual spray? Though. No. Pow. Yeah. And then flare. Is that quite important? So. And then one more, like that. Wow. There. Moving very quickly on, the next step of the comb filter process is to glue both ends of the foam together and join them which is easier said than done. So I'm here with Blake, uh, and he's gonna show me the next stage of production. First thing we wanna do is get your foam, put it on the mesh. So there's your cup of tea. What we're gonna do is pour it around the outside, a little bit more than that. You grab your filter, sit it in, tuck it in the lip, put the uh, rubber on the top, put the weight on, and that's it. So that's done now. Yep. How long do we have to wait until it all sets? About five, 10 minutes should be enough to get you onto the next so process. So nice, nice cup of tea, and then we should be yeah, about no, there. Exactly, that's it. Well, Matt sits away on his cup of Earl Grey. I'm back with Leanne. Leanne, it's been around 20 minutes, half an hour. So these should now be rock solid. Yes, we basically take them out of the mold, check that for any air bubbles or mesh being out. And then look at that. We've got the makings of a panel filter. With the panel filter now out of the mould, the final step is to pop it on a shelf, after which any excess rubber is trimmed for neatness. Finally, it's vacuumed and popped into a wrapper to be boxed up, labelled and sent to its new owner. Lovely. Meanwhile, back on the cone filter process, the final and most difficult part involves gluing the lid on. Again, all of this is done by hand. I messed up almost immediately by spraying on way too much glue, making the foam stick to my rubber gloves. So if we just compare, that, that's how you should do it. That's how, that's how I did it. With the comb filter now in one piece, it's time to oil the foam. And so the filter is popped into an oiling chamber and sprayed with an oiling gun. There we go. One freshly oiled air filter. This is mine. I know, I know it's quite difficult to tell yeah, because the, the build quality is so similar, but I'm pretty sure this is, this is my one. Hopefully, Alex won't look too closely at the finished product. I think what we should do now is to swap presents and then critique each other's work. This is like Christmas, but with extra pressure. I'm actually quite annoyed by how good this is. I did struggle a bit with the lid, I admit, but you know, you've got to think about it more. You know, it's a, it's a rustic kind of bespoke. How much glue did you, can, you use? You can tell that it's handmade, can't you? Ham-fistedly made. That almost matches. I'm, the top. I'm critiquing. You can't critique your own, okay? I, I do have to ask though, how much of this did you actually do All of yourself? It. All of it. Did you actually though? Yeah, as well. We, we did. We did ask Piper Cross actually what you know would happen to these had they been uh, made on a normal day. Um, this would actually go through. This, this would pass um, quality inspection, mostly because Alex didn't actually make it. I did most uh, of it. That would probably go in the bin. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. I hope that you've learned a few things. You've definitely learned that you probably shouldn't work for Piper Cross. Uh, I have learned that, yeah. Yep. To watch more of these videos, click on this link and to subscribe to the Car Throttle channel. Matt, where's the link? There, by the way. It's there. It's, it's there. It's right, right there. there. It's right okay. there. We'll see Not you next there. time. Bye-bye. Yeah.